Presents don't always have to be under the tree. We can put them in surprise locations, like your table, for example. Let me show you what I mean. The materials you'll need are eight cuts of top fabric in various prints, eight cuts of backing fabric, eight cuts of fusible fleece, coordinating ribbons, and coordinating thread. Press your fabrics and apply the fusible fleece to the wrong side of the top fabric. Decide how you want to arrange your ribbons in order to look like a wrapped gift. Grab pins, washable hem tape, or school glue. You can use pins or hem tape to hold the ribbons in place. I'm using school glue on this project. Just apply a thin strip of glue to the back of the ribbon. Once they are in place, iron the ribbons lightly. Do this for all of the presents, making each one different will provide visual interest. Top stitch the ribbons as close to the edge as possible. Trim off the excess ribbons and threads. Arrange the order of your presents before continuing. On two of the sides of each present, mark two inches from the corner. Wrong sides together, lay a piece of backing fabric on top of the front fabric. Transfer the marks onto the backing fabric. You want these marks to be mirrored in case your initial marks weren't exact. Keep these pairs together so they don't get mixed up. Laying two pairs side by side, shift the present so that the corner of one meets the two inch marks of the other. Mark the overlapping marks on both the backing and top fabrics so you know exactly where to line up the fabrics. Right sides together, pin the tops together. Repeat for the backing fabric. Shift the next set of presents and backing so that you end up with an up and down alternating look. Repeat these steps until all of your presents are pinned together. Sew the seams with a half inch seam allowance, including the single layer from the overlap. Press open the seams on both the front and back. Make sure to press the two inch overlap as well. Top stitch one eighth inch away from the seam on both sides of each seam. Right sides together, line up and pin the front to the back. Most importantly, make sure the corners line up. Mark an 8 inch opening for turning later. Starting at one side of the opening, sew around the entire outside with a 1 quarter inch seam allowance. Clip all of the corners. At the joint corners, clip into the corner at a diagonal without clipping through the stitches. Then trim away some of the seam allowance at an angle to reduce the bulk. Reach in through the opening to turn right sides out. Make sure to poke out the corners so they are nice and crisp. Straighten all of the seams, then iron with some steam. Tuck in the raw edges of the opening and press. 
Top stitch the opening closed, then continue around the entire runner. Adding bows is optional. For me, this really makes the present. Starting with an M, twist the top loops inside themselves. Pull tight, then adjust until you're happy with the look. Pin the center in place, then trim the ends. Polyester ribbons can be melted to keep from fraying. Pin the bow to the present. Sew around the center part of the bow to secure it in place. How fun is this table runner? You can make it as long or as short as you need by adding more gifts to the table. Now, who's ready for some centerpieces to take these tables up a notch? Stay tuned for the next episode of the 12 Days of Holiday Sewing. Drop down to the link in the comments to sign up for my newsletter so you don't miss any more tutorials.